Each day begins the same way. Each century repeats the same beat. Every day in a camp, certain things must happen. They do happen, the details combine in a plan, and the plan appears as an army. The base on which the whole system stands is the private soldier. It's the soldier who fills the cans with petrol, the soldier whose daily routine keeps the wheels turning. The camp is a complex of many details. Water must be pure. It's tested regularly. Into the established organization comes the flow of new material. It must be prepared against the danger of disease. The men are inoculated. Dressings are issued in case of injury. Gas masks in case there's gas. Every man must have one. The system must be perfect. The camp must see to all the small prosaic details. The food is weighed to the last ounce and checked to the last penny. The system must operate exactly, regularly, calculated down to slices of meat and rations of bread. When a job's to be done, the camp does not call for tenders. The job is done on the spot by the men on the spot. There must be someone to think of everything. The soldier is helped in drawing up his will. Bayonets must be sharpened. For all these jobs, there must be someone. The soldier works, the camp functions, the army is an army. In every detail now, the soldier can read the reality of the army's purpose. Metal must not shine. Badges are blacked over. And when the soldier has looked after his work, he may have time to look after himself. From Ravalli in the morning until he sleeps at night, he's busy. He's in camp. He's in the army. When one day ends, another will follow.